friends welcome to this new special video in the new year and in this video I'm not going to bore you with UGC net or I'm not going to even talk about English literature classical books I'm rather going to talk about my favorite books which you must try reading in this new year I'm sure that most of you are making new year resolutions and most of you are eager to develop book reading habit now since you're trying to uh, take your you know get your hands on the books and trying to see whether the books can be your best friends I thought I can be of little help I've been a ardent reader since my childhood and I have read a lot of books but then in this video I'm going to talk about those five books which I found to be super interesting they're super interesting super easy to read and also you can't keep them aside once you start reading them so I thought that why not let me share my book list with you guys so that if you have never tried reading books you can do it in this new year so let me know in the comment section below which are your favorite books and what do you like about books in general I'll be waiting to read all your comments so before wasting any further time let's jump right into the topic and let's see which is the first book in the list but before that I would just like to talk about a very beautiful statement given by Jhumpa Lahiri she said once very beautifully that that's the thing about books they'll let you travel without moving your feet and that is the beauty when you start reading you get into that character you get into that location and you're so amazed that you can travel across the globe without even leaving your chair so books have that magic and I'm pretty sure that once you start reading these books you're going to get into a lifelong affair with them I'm not going to talk about any classical books or my favorite classics in this video because I know that they are a little uh, difficult to start or begin with because I have been reading Jane Austen I've been reading uh, Charlotte Bronte and they've been my favorites okay Sherlock Holmes all of them I can die for but I'm not going to talk about them neither I'm going to talk about the popular fictions which I hate I am absolutely uh, against the writers like Chetan Bhagat and Ravindra Singh. So the first book in my series of favorites is Haruki Murakami's Norwegian Wood. Now this writer Haruki Murakami was introduced by one of my very close friends two years back I suppose and he gifted me a book called Sputnik Sweetheart. When I was reading it, I was surprised to see that a love story can be so much beyond a love story. He knew that I always loved to read love stories, so he gifted me that. But this book, and specifically this writer, writes love stories with a difference. He's going to talk about so much beyond love stories. He's going to talk about what real love is. So if you actually uh, love romance, if you want to read something which is not so burdensome, which is light, which can just just give you a uh, give you a kind of sensation that okay it's, it's a happy nice world and still can go beyond that can get into the shatters of your um, broken self and can tell you more about yourself Haruki Murakami is for you and in order to begin with this great writer I think Norwegian Wood can be the best book you can pick so uh, Haruki Murakami was nominated for Nobel Prize uh, last to last year and I was surprised that he didn't get it uh, but still if you can see that a writer is nominated for a Nobel Prize he must be having substance in his writing so is he a beautiful and a fantastic writer who is going to explore so much that you'll you'll not be able to keep it aside and if you have uh, watched the movie wake up said i'm pretty sure you must have seen konkana sen reading that book in middle of a song so it's the same book uh, norwegian wood and there's a beautiful line uh, in that book which which is like very close to my heart and the line is that the most important thing that we need to understand is that we're not normal and when we understand this that we're not normal that is how we become normal so just look at the line it's so beautiful are we normal no we're not and that is what makes us normal when we realize that we are not normal so it's complicated yet it is going to give you a lot of food for thought so make sure you buy it this year and read it and let me know in the comment section whether you like it or not the next in my list is 
Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Uh, now, this book, I think, is a book which is for every age. A teenager, a middle-aged man, and a retired person. Everybody can read it and they're going to find something or the other for their life. It's a book which is somewhere like a self-help book, but then it is fictionalized. So it's a story of a shepherd who is trying to achieve his dreams. And it's about dreams, purposeful living and love, of course. Uh, also, uh, it is very linked to the idea which uh, Shah Rukh Khan talks about in the movie Om Shanti Om, that if you want to get something from your heart, then you get to get to get to get So it's about that, that if you're trying to achieve something and if you're dedicated, if you really want it from all your heart, then the universe is going to conspire to get that to you. Uh, also, the most beautiful aspect of this book, which I really like, is how this character, the protagonist, he looks at every little thing which we normally don't look at. He's going to look at trees, forests, he's going to look at sheep, and he's going to learn so much about life. So the book talks about how you observe those little minute things and through those observations, you get answers to the most complex problems of your life. Isn't it beautiful? You're looking at the traffic moving and you're getting an insight about how you can sort things in your life with your best friend. And that is the beauty of this book. It's very interesting. I read it in one night and I'm sure you're going to read it too because once you begin, there's no stopping. Third in the list is my favorite author on whom I have done a lot of research uh, and he is Amish Tripathi. Now, Amish Tripathi began with a trilogy which he wrote by the name Shiva Trilogy. It's a book which is concerned with mythology, though I'm sure that those of you who are not interested in mythology might say that, okay, this is not for us, Arpita, but I'm telling you guys, it's, it's not that mythology which is going to bore you. It is mythology in the most real and contemporary self. There have been other writers as well, Ashwin Sanghi, Devdat Patnayak, but I would not refer that to you because they are hardcore mythologists. I'm going to talk about that writer who is going to talk about how mythology can be so relatable. So in this Shiva trilogy, it is like three books, uh, all of them linked to each other. And in this entire book series, he's talking about a man who becomes Mahadev. So it's not the story of Shiva, Mahadev. It's the story of a man becoming Mahadev. What he goes through, what are the mistakes he makes and how he tries to become better as a human being. Also, at the same time, if you look at this book, you will find out that, you know, he has used funny statements. He has tried to make it as real, as connectable as possible. Also, at the same time, uh, you must have seen that from past few days, I've been sharing quotes from Shiva Triology on my Facebook and Instagram. And a lot of students, while they read this, those quotes, they were like, okay, this seems to be interesting. From which book have you taken it? So I thought that why not make a video and talk about Shiva Triology in a better manner. So I thought of, you know, sharing it with you. Also, at the same time, there's this beautiful line uh, in this book, which like really touched me. And in that line, he says that, you know, if we all are conscious about our own duties, nobody is going to ever need any rights. Okay, if you are conscious about our duties, what duties I need to do. Do anyone would require any rights? If you look at the Hyderabad gang rape that happened and so much is happening around that particular incident. What, what happened? What generally happened? Some people forgot what were their duties. Their duty to respect a person's privacy, a duty to respect a female's body. They, they did not actually performed their duties well and that is the reason why government has to put up new laws, put up new rights about people. So it's very simple. If we all do our duties, nobody would need their rights. So it's that beautiful. One statement and you are lost in that statement. You try to connect so many things with that statement and everything falls in their proper place. That's the charm of a Mr. Party. Next in the line is Elizabeth Gilbert's Eat, Pray, Love. It's a beautiful book and there's also a movie on the same. So if you don't want to give it a first shot, 
try watching the movie by Julia Roberts. It's a beautiful journey about a girl called Liz and she went through a series of breakups. Her heart is shattered when the book begins and she decides that she's not able to you know live life properly she's suffocated she has a nervous breakdown and she wants to just escape just go away so she decides to travel for one year she first goes to italy then she goes to india and finally she lands up in bali and while she's going in this journey she's also developing as a person she goes to italy she tries to meet new people eat the famous italian food she comes to india went into an ashram, tries to understand herself, calm herself down through meditation practices and then she goes to Bali where she finally meets the love of her life. But then how she meets the love of her life is important because while she's traveling, she's trying to find happiness within herself. She's stopping herself from getting dependent on people to give her happiness, to take care of herself. She tries to get in love with her own life love her own self, self-care, self-love becomes the important themes of this particular book. And there's a very beautiful statement which comes again and again that we all are broken and that is how the light gets in. So we all have to experience breakups, heartbreaks and that is how we try to get more closer to our own self. We try to understand what we really want, what is missing in our life, what are the things we are looking for in a relationship. Sometimes it happens that you know you find that you're madly deeply in love with somebody but later you realize that no you don't find the person appropriate. You were just being with that person because of the attraction, because he was giving you attention. So it was not the need of a person, it was need for attention. And when you realize this, you're shattered. You're like, okay, did I not love this person? Was I being in this relationship just because he was giving me attention, which I was liking? So it was my craving for attention and not my craving for love. And that is, that is how you become better as a human being. You realize that, okay, I was living in a false world. I was living in my own bubble. And when that bubble breaks, life is all beautiful, all lovely, all wonderful and worth living. Last but not the least is one of the most famous and favorite book of mine, uh, which is a non-fiction book, of course. We've been talking a lot about fiction books. So now we're talking about non-fiction book. And the top most book in that series is ja Mark Manson's Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Now, don't go by the title. You might see that, okay, Arpata, we didn't know that you read such kind of books. No, I don't. So it's a beautiful book where this man has tried to talk about the contemporary issues that we adults, as in the people who are trying to become adults and trying to move from their teenage and towards the adulthood are facing. So there are chapters which might shock you when you look at the index there are chapters like don't try and you'll be like okay this man is telling me not to try but what we have been listening all this while is that you must try to achieve your goals always give it a shot try only by trying hard you achieve what you really desire and this man says don't try so it might shock you but then when you start reading it, you will understand that this man is going into the psychology and telling you that what are the issues uh, we face when we try to be too much moralistic. Okay, so this man redefines the concept of happiness altogether. He says that happiness is a myth. You might feel that, okay, I must be happy because goal of every goal is to be happy. But then he says that what is real happiness? Real happiness is about solving problems and you can never achieve a place of happiness because it's a constant work in progress because solving problems is a constant work in progress. Every problem you solve will lead to another problem. And that is how the cycle continues again and again. But then in the middle of this somewhere you find your true self and that is what is the beauty of life. So it's a very beautiful book which is going to be uh, one of the most hilarious read for you. And it is going to also transform you very 
subconsciously you'll not even realize that the book is trying to build an impact on you but by the end of the book you're going to be a changed person so these were my favorite books which i would recommend you to read in this new year please make sure you put that in the comment section which are your favorite books and which books you would recommend me to read also at the same time i would like you to follow me on all the social media platforms also the registration for the new batch for ugc net english literature is open and we have got limited seats so make sure you register very quickly and for any other queries you have the whatsapp number displayed above just give us a message and we are going to provide you all the details at the same time past your papers and all the other important information about ugc net is there on our website arpitakarva.com the full course syllabus is there available free of cost on our website so make sure you visit it once before you enroll in our course so with that note i would like to take leave we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com <laughs>